Okay, I just finished updating my game. Alright, that's out. That's it's time for me to check this hobby system out. Just like from the previous, from my previous prediction video, up, I'm expecting it to be like the uh, achievement system from Need for Speed World and the award system from the Crew One. The Crew Two Energize. Discover what really drives you. Hobbies. Take on new actions. Collect stars. Unlock exclusive rewards. Okay. So far, it sounds like the achievement system from Need for Speed World. So what I already experienced from before, but let's continue on. <laughs> Complete live contracts. Okay, as you can see, I don't give a shit about my live contracts as because as you see under the bridge, four out of five, I don't even care about finishing it. <laughs> oh my god. Profile hobbies. Okay, hobbies available now. Let's check this shit out. Welcome to the hobbies. Feel like an eraser, an explorer, or a collector? Complete actions in your favorite hobbies to earn stars. Stars allow you to progress in hobbies to unlock exclusive rewards. Congratulations, you have already completed actions. Okay, this is similar to yep. This is this is definitely similar to Need for Speed World's achieve achievement system because I c I already seen this sh the shit before. Congratulations, 383 total stars earned. <laughs> Alright, so as as you can see here, there's weekly tasks and I think and I think from the baser explorer and collector categories, those are those would be the lifetime tasks. Alright, let's see the weekly task first. Long really KTM. Do a really five hundred meters in a row. With a touring car KTM, six days left. When there's smoke, you're on fire. Top dog BMW. Spend time in first position in ace difficulty with the BMW S1000 RR touring car edition for one minute and six days left. Touring. I, I can't even pronounce that word. <laughs> uh, right on the roads with the touring car Ducati. I can't, I don't even know how to put it out <laughs> there. And s so many words that I can't even fucking <laughs> put <it> out. <laughs> Finish all nine activities in a summit. Six days left. And there's smoke, you're on fire. Put the smoke on a touring car bike. And that's worth four stars. Okay. Alright. So there's weeklies that. And these would be the lifetime. Let's see the lifetime achievement. Oh, okay. So there's five emotes before you, before you get, the, before you earn the underglow and the car. I think it's the same thing for the others. Yep, it's the same thing. Five emotes, then outfit, underglow, then car. Comps. Okay. Okay, yep, this is definitely like Need Speed World as some tasks in that game are like like are retro uh, retroactively counted towards the the achievements in Need Speed World. So it's, uh, it's the same thing for here as you can see. Alright. Let's continue 
on. Wait, so are we? Okay, I already got five emotes already. <laughs> five emotes from from what I did in the past. Okay. Uh, what the? What? Oh, okay. Thought my game crashed or froze for a bit. Alright, I'm waiting for this loading screen, then to go back to the hobby screen to check out more t the tasks. Well, I know, uh, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. Well, I know uh, a couple of my friends that play this game regularly, they, they would be stoked for the hobby system. Alright, let's go to the hobby system again. Finish street racing. Okay. Okay, from the looks of these tasks, I know a couple a couple of friends of mine that would that would love to complete all of these. I knew it, I knew it. Reach platinum rank in live battle. I predicted for my uh prediction for you, I predicted that you have to reach platinum rank one in PvP. It doesn't exactly say you reach platinum rank one, but it says reach platinum rank in live Yep, see? See what what do what I tell you? What I tell you? All right, so these are the lifetime. Wait, hold up. I want to see. Show details. Okay. Okay. So these are the re what the rewards look like. All right. All right. Let's check out the explore task too. Let's see. Show details. Let's check out the rewards. What they look like. Okay. All right. All right. Well, I know I know one friend of mine that would love to t to do these exploring tasks. <laughs> Alright. The collector. Alright. Alright, let's check out these the rewards for the collector. Alright. Alright. Okay, for so I I so from the looks of these, yep, it's definitely the definitely like the same as the achievement system from Need for Speed World and the the war system in the Crew One. Although the the hobby system in the Crew Two is much more rewarding than than in the Crew One, where where which bleh, 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 I can't even speak right now. Uh, <laughs> the, so the so the the rewards in the crew two are much more enticing than the crew one's rewards, where you could actually like earn cars, earn a vanity item, and earn a uh, earn an outfit. Whereas the rewards in the crew one from the award system, you would just only get get a measly custom license plate. Although I would say the reward rewards in the crew two are more more uh let's say relatable to the uh, to the reward system in Need for Speed World. And if you play Need for Speed World, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. So to conclude to conclude from from my perspective well well my perspective and and in general, for me at least, since I already seen this kind of kind of thing in Need for Speed World. I'm not too excited 
about the hobby system and not to like uh, this went in like let's say everyone everyone enticed me to play the game it's still I'm still burned out by the summit and this won't really make me come back to the game at like daily but as for let's say the general the general like the like like the people that play the game regularly this hobby system would would definitely allow them to come back to the game and play it play it a bit more when there's something to do and something to earn in the game so yeah i would say <coughs> I would say this hobby system is one of the better updates when you c when it gives people something to do. Although I would although I would say the hot shots update would be the best update for for the game so far, but at least this hobby's up update is much better than the blazing shots update in my opinion, at least. All right, and that's all I have to say about this hobby's update. If you en if you enjoyed this vi this what my thoughts are please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already and i'll see you guys next time later friends